former member of the Romanian national team, the IBO international champion, the Canadian super welterweight champion, Edmonton's own Tony Bad Boy Patia. His opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at 153 pounds from Vancouver with a professional record of 23 wins, no defeats, no draws, 13 by KO. Here is Manny, the teacher, Sobra. Control the water. Let's control the water. Okay, gentlemen, any questions? Went over the rules in the dressing room. Final chance. Okay, make sure this is a clean fight, gentlemen. Good luck to both of you. Shake hands, bell rings, come out fighting. We are ready for showdown two here on TSN, and we were hoping that Hubert Earl's mic might be working. We'll see if we can correct that for you as the evening progresses, but we do have our referee mic'd up this evening, and uh, here we go, the rematch of the fight from two years ago when Manny Soberal won a controversial decision over Tony Bad Boy Badia. Round number one from the Northlands Agricom in Edmonton. These two fighters, Scotty, have had the opportunity to battle each other once before, even though it was two years ago. One of the things that they talked about a lot was that they've been training with different people, they've fought different people. They're older now, they feel they're much improved as boxers. James, this fight is a soap opera. You have things going on all over the place. Tra trainers, both of the trainers have trained with each other's fighters, and uh, these guys have come in tight. These guys are ripped, they're very tight, they've trained extremely well. They're opening up this first round with dramatic fashion. Certainly no feeling out here in the first round as both Manny Sobral and Tony Padilla have been throwing uh, quite a few punches. And this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds. We've got two titles on the line, the middleweight championship of the Commonwealth and the super welterweight championship of Canada. Good right hand by Padilla. And the first fight between these two guys was, uh, as many have said, an absolute war where a lot of heavy punches were thrown and Manny Soberal tasted the canvas a couple of times, but he was able to get up and survive and win the decision over Badia. But there was certainly a lot of uh, bad blood after that decision. It caused fights in the stands, and fans wanted an immediate rematch, but it took two years to finally get it, and we're glad to have it for you right here on TSN. There's a good right hand that got through the protection of the glove of Badia. Both fighters have been able to land their right hands early in the fight. They found a home for the right hand. Uh, Badillo was trying to counter Manny over top of his left hand to land his right hand. Good left hook by Badia, follows it up with a straight right. A couple punches landed from Manny Sobral and Tony Badia's eyes. Uh, Tony has cut a little bit in the past. And it's going to be interesting to see how if he's able to get cut in this one. A couple of good shots by Badia. He seemed to knock uh, Sobral off balance a bit. Different turn of events this time around, too, as Tony Padilla is the Canadian champion. Manny Sobral, who used to own the exact same title, looking to win it back. Whoa! Bit of a war as height is concerned. In fact, these two guys are very evenly matched. Badia, of course, the younger of the two, but Manny Sobral says he has the experience behind him to complete another victory and put aside all of the controversy that has been involved in their 
past two years of not fighting. Round number two, Tony Bad Boy Badia and Manny Sobral. Sobral in the black, Badia in the yellow shorts. Both very proud Canadians battling for the Commonwealth and Canadian Championship here tonight. Well, Manny started off this round doing what he'd said at the press conference. Is that is utilizing his jab. He thought that the jab was going to be a key factor in this one. Try to keep Tony a little bit off balance. Tony is able to clip uh, Manny Sobal with a couple good body shots early on here. Okay, break. A lot of inside work between these two boxers. And Badia throwing a couple of two-punch combinations there that did get a piece of Manny Sobral. Sobral, of course, the fighting teacher, working on his master's degree right now. And he is out of Vancouver, British Columbia, of course, is uh, training a lot out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Really prides himself on the fact that he's been able to continue his boxing career, but not only that, continue his studies as well. And, uh, you know, that's something that we don't hear and see a lot of. Uh, you know, a guy that comes to mind automatically is a guy like Willie DeWitt, who, who left the boxing game to become a lawyer. And, you know, you have to respect guys like that. You sure do, James. Break. Manny Sobral certainly doesn't have to be a fighter. He has a great career he could fall back on, but he loves the game. He loves the sport, and he, he's not going to stop until he achieves his, his goals. One of them is winning this fight tonight. Good work by Badia, and that will be counted as a knockdown as Badia put together a couple of punches, and it seemed to stun Manny Sobral. Sobral immediately looked at Hubert Earl and said that was a slip, and now Badia goes to work on Sobral. Would you consider that a knockdown, Scotty? I will have to look at the tape on that one. That was uh, very hard to tell. There might have been a little bit of a slip involved. I knew there was a punch thrown, however. The canvas is a little loose here tonight, and uh, they had some problems putting the canvas on the ring, and because of that, it does seem to be a little loose, much more loose than what it normally is, and that may have caused Sobral to slip. Well, Tony Badia said he may not have had that much time to train for the last one, but he's ready tonight. You're watching Showdown 2 on TSN. Balance, or I don't know, Scotty, you give me your opinion. I look to me from, I'll have to watch one more time, but I believe that it was a knockdown from what I just saw in that highlight clip. Very good work, guys, for getting that. That was very well done. Looked like he had, he looked like uh, Manny was going backwards a little bit, but I thought a left hook had landed by Tony Badia. There was a good straight yeah. hand right there, and that may have shook up uh, Sobral, and that is probably why he uh, ended up falling down. Nelson Kitchen in the corner of Tony Badia, the former trainer of Manny Sobral, and Jerome Coffey, the former trainer of Tony Badia in Sobral's corner. And Tony Badia has come out with some fire here in round number three. There's a good right hand that catches Sober out. Good left hook by Badia in that exchange. There's another shot that catches Sober out. And Sober out goes down from a three or four punches. And Manny Sober out is not happy with himself. And here comes Tony Badia looking for the knockout, and Manny Sobral and Tony Badia going to war. There's a big shot. A right hand that cracks Manny Sobral, and Sobral on the verge of his first professional loss here at the Northlands Agricom. There's still lots of time in this round, and Tony Badia wailing punches at Manny Sobral. Sobral just trying to hang in. Badia looking to pick his spot. Badia's been throwing some cannons, and 
Manny Sobral is just barely hanging on. We've still got a minute and a half to go in this bout. Batia may have punched himself out a little bit. Sobral hanging on at every opportunity. But Diaz has done a tremendous job pinpointing his punches in this fight. And Sobral is now cut. He's cut above his left eye, Scotty. Blood flowing, streaming into his eye. And Tony Badia just trying to pace himself. There's still plenty of time left if he wants to take out Manny Sobral, who is definitely acting like a warrior in round number three. Manny's heart and conditioning are keeping him in right now. Very well conditioned kid. That helps when you're hurt. Hubert Earl, Hubert Earl Scotty is doing a very good job as well of letting this fight continue. It looked like it might have been over. Big right hand by Manny Sobral. And that stops Tony Badia from picking up his attack. Hubert Earl doing a terrific job. Hubert Earl is by far the best referee in Canada. Very good referee next to Don Smart. They're right neck and neck. Ten seconds to go in round three. Manny Sobral on the verge of losing his first professional fight. Tony Badia looking for the knockout, but we'll have more of Showdown T on Showdown 2 on TSN coming up in just a moment. Sobral, here's a look at some of the action from Tony Badia. That's kind of a strange knockdown where may have been losing his balance again, but he was punched down to the ground. But now they're really feverishly working on that cut over the eye of Manny Sobralis' left eye, Scotty, and that's a terrible place to have a cut. Yeah. Here's a look at some of the big shots that Padilla once again was firing. This is the second knockdown. There it is, right to the temple. And we really didn't think Manny Sobral was going to get up after that one, but he has made it into round number four. Well, it's going to be interesting now, James. I don't know, if, I believe there's a, a, a three-round rule that if a fight is stopped due to a cut, that the fight may be declared a technical draw if it doesn't finish this round. Tony Padilla has been able to throw some pretty heavy punches. Big shot again by Padilla. Sobral seems to be fine, though, uh, Scotty. He's carrying himself pretty good despite the punishment that he took in the third round. Manny's a tremendously conditioned fighter. He did get clipped there, but his conditioning is so good that he recovers from punches a lot quicker than if you were out of shape. That blood really causing a problem over the eye of Manny Sobral. Very visible. And Badia just trying to throw some more punches towards the direction of that cut. You've been in that situation before, Scotty, where you're, you have the blood streaming into your eye. That's, that's obviously very difficult, uh, you know, especially for vision of trying to track punches. It's really, it's really hard. And what happens is when a fighter gets cut, the opponent who has cut you, we have a little bit of breaking action for the tape. When an opponent has cut you, seems to get a little bit of extra energy from somewhere to uh, capitalize on that. It kind of turns the opponent on. Very hard to see clearly when the blood goes into your eye. Many, I'm sure, is having a difficult time right now. It won't be long before the doctor starts taking a look at that cut. This is a battle for two championship belts. Padilla defending his Canadian championship and the vacant Commonwealth championship up for grabs as well. So Brow going back to using his jab, trying to stay away from the, the power that he has felt of Tony Padilla. 
Padilla leveling some huge blows. And one of those blows caused that cut over the left eye of Silver Al. Tony Badia looks to me as if he's slowed down a bit in this round, uh, Scotty. Not as active as he was before, and that's giving Manny Soberell time to recover. You're absolutely right, James. Another excellent round here on Showdown 2 on TSN. Fifth round for Manny Soberell and Tony Badia, and we have now found out that Soberell has cuts over both of his eyes. So that is going to cause problems for Sobral as this fight continues. He has got to step it up and start taking the fight back to Tony Padilla if he wants to win this fight because hard to say if he's going to be able to survive the full 12 rounds with both of those cuts. You hate to see those cuts because her last fight ended on a, a brutal cut to the head of Tony Padilla, Scotty, and now Sobral has cut over both of his eyes. Yeah, Manny Sobral landed a good left hook to the body of Tony Badia. Looks like uh, um, Sobral has made a full recovery, though. He opened this round up very good. Sobral has blood coming oh. out of everywhere. A big shot there by Badia, an uppercut. Sobral's nose is now bleeding. Big uppercut by Tony Badia. Good left hook right there by Sobral. That left hook by Sobral got Padilla's attention. <laughs> Sobral's face completely bloodied now. That shot may have broke Manny's nose, James. Hubert Earl has called timeout, and the doctor is now going to come in and take a look at Manny Sobral. I don't think this fight is going to go to 12 rounds. I just can't see Manny's face being able to take that beating. It is a championship fight. It is a championship fight, and I agree with you, Scotty. I think Sobral's nose may be broken because it's streaming out of both nostrils, and that's uh, normally the sure sign that the nose is broken. You're very right, James. That's very uncomfortable. It's hard to breathe properly. It leaks down into your stomach, down your throat, and it makes you nauseous. It's hard to deal with what Manny's dealing with right now. But what a war, James. We, we, Edmonton has, is seeing a wonderful treat of boxing tonight. Well, not only is Sober Al now covered in blood, but so is Tony Padilla. But it's not Padilla's blood, it's all of Sobral's. Manny might have to get a blood transfusion after this thing's over with. These guys are trading shots, there's no quit in either one of these guys. I'm very impressed with Manny coming back from those knockdowns, and Padilla's still putting heat on, on Sobral. Coming down to the final seconds of another exciting round here at the Northlands Agricom, you're watching Showdown 2 on TSN. And Hubert Earl, who is the referee and chief of the Canadian Professional Boxing Federation, is allowing the corner to go to work. This fight will continue. Let's take a look at some of the action. Boy, it looks like a hospital in the Soberal corner. And boy, this has been one of the bloodiest brawls we have seen in quite some time. And they're just having a terrible time stopping the bleeding in Manny Soberal's uh, nose. And that is where the majority of the blood is coming from. It looks like they have contained most of the bleeding over the eyes right now, but it's just the nose. And I'll tell you, Manny Soberal is in a war. Round, six. Round number six for the Super Welterweight Championship of Canada and the Middleweight Championship of the Commonwealth. 
Tony Badia is the current champion in Canada. The Commonwealth title is vacant. Oh. Big right hand by Tony Badia. He loaded it up and landed, uh, landed flush on Sobral. Good uppercut again, and there goes Sobral. He got crushed by an uppercut. Uppercut left hook, James. And he's trying to stay in the fight. Hubert Earl is allowing him to continue. There's another shot. Another knockdown, and this fight is basically over with, folks. I cannot see Sobral continuing. He will get up one more time, but there's little, little left in Manny Sobral's tank. Look at that face, folks. He's trying to hang in, and it's game over. That is it. Tony Bad Boy Padilla is the super welterweight champion of Canada. He defends his title and the new Commonwealth middleweight champion. And there is some concern in the ring now of Manny Sobral, who took a wicked right hand to the jaw. And Sobral seems to be okay, but uh, let's take a look at some of that action as Tony Badia picked apart Manny Sobral. There is the, one of the big uppercuts. There's a second big uppercut. And Sobral tried his best, Scotty, to get off the canvas, but it was just uh, one of those nights that uh, Ma Manny Sobral was unable to defend the big uppercuts of Tony Badia. What an incredible fight, James. You saw the best two fighters in this division in the Commonwealth. Tremendous fight by, and tremendous heart by Manny Sobral. He hung in there, tried to fight through adversity, being cut, broken nose likely, or cut over both eyes, and he hung in there to survive a few knockdowns and to put up a very good effort, and Tony Badia was just the sharper man tonight. Well, a huge win for that man right there, Tony Bad Boy Badia. He increases his record, and he avenges a loss two years ago to Manny Sobral in what was uh, probably one of the most bloodiest fights that we have seen in quite some time. The winner by knockout at 105 of the sixth round, the new Commonwealth and still Canadian champion, Tony Bad Boy Badia. Presentation of the Commonwealth belt to Tony Padilla by Ron Hader. And that is a championship belt that Padilla has to be very proud of. He also retains his with one knockout.